Hi, I'm David Manila. Welcome to Chat, Please. I'm here today with chefs Jackie Pfeiffer and Sebastian Canon, the co-founders of the French Pastry School at Kennedy King College. Thanks so much for joining me. Thanks, Thank you. And so you have won the French ministry's highest honor as a craftsman. You have a James Beard Award for your book, mm. The Art of French Pastry. Yes. Alumni have gone on to do all kinds of great stuff. <clears throat> what, do you, what do you look for in a great pastry chef? Somebody who is not afraid to uh, fail. Somebody who, who realizes that uh, a good pastry doesn't mean that it has to be complicated or it has to be made with uh, weird ingredients. Hmm. And they forget that the classics of pastry are actually what, what uh, pays the rent. Sure. So my 11-year-old, uh, his favorite show is Cupcake Wars. Mm -hmm. So, and I'm like, it's like, they're fine. But it's like, <laughs> it's, it's really, it hardly matters what these things taste like, right? It's just kind of like that somebody's <laughs> making a dinosaur. Yes. Or somebody's making yes. a replica of a skyline. Yes. So when you have your students, do you have to kind of like temper their enthusiasm? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let's start with that. <laughs> There's definitely a lot of new things happening all the time. At the end, it's the classics are the classics, and right. you don't want to you don't want to eat an apple pie that looks like a brownie or you know, a cookie that it's mixed with two other mix that become whatever crazy name they make up. <laughs> that works for two seconds, you know, on on the social media. But <laughs> but after that, it doesn't pay the rent and you'll, you know, right. you'll, you'll close down, shut down your business, so. It also, I assume part of the difference between a, a pastry chef and maybe a regular chef is, I would guess you have to be really disciplined to be a pastry chef. Yes, you have to scale each ingredients, you have to follow procedures, you cannot just throw things in a pot and right. like you see on TV again, you know, <laughs> sometimes. Less uh, improvisation. Yes, it, right. it, 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 we calculate, we measure, we, we, we count everything and, and, and this requires discipline. Mm -hmm. uh, that doesn't mean you cannot be creative, but you, you really have to follow certain procedures. But there's so many restaurants now. Chicago is the leader of kind of like the avant-garde mm -hmm. restaurant movement. Mm -hmm. And so I guess you could understand, is, is there an avant-garde pastry movement? I don't know if I there is. I hope not. <laughs> <laughs> I hope not because we have enough with the dinosaur cupcakes, you know. Um, we don't need pastry shops that sell this stuff, you right. know. And so what do you, what do you both like making? If you had to make one pastry, what do you like making? I like to go back to making things that are so simple, like a, an apple pie, or mm. like things that are very crusty, like bread and pound cakes and mm. cookies, because we we competed together for decades. Chocolate sculpture, sugar sculpture. No, this is the last thing that we want to talk about. See, all we want is to work on some brownie or something Good like cookie. this. That's <laughs> what really excites us. Really, <laughs> it excites me too. If I were starting out at home and I wanted to just do it without taking your classes and I want to make something mm -hmm. and I'm a total novice, what, what, what should I start, what should my progression be? What should I start out with? That's, that's where it's difficult, you know. Mm -hmm. Nobody wants to follow rules. <laughs> but you would start with very basic things, you know, like a pastry, cream, custard, you know, mm. you, would do a, you would do a cookie, you would do a, a pound cake, or, then you would move on to maybe do a tarts and it's actually the perfect understanding of the uh, stupidest recipes like cookies or brownies or pound cake and once you master those and you understand why you actually make them well right. then that's it it's you don't need you actually don't need the book anymore so Jackie are you from a family of pastry yes so did you it was it's in your blood Yes. Did you always know you were going to do this? Yes. I had no choice. <laughs> <laughs> and is it like the greatest life ever? It is. It's, uh, it's, that's all I know. That's all I know. And this year, it's, 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 I celebrate 40 years uh, of, of baking professionally. And it's, I wouldn't change it for anything. It's, uh, it's a never-ending story because um, there's so much to learn in the whole uh, spectrum of pastry. Mm -hmm. So... I would never change it for anything. Gentlemen, thank you so much, chefs. Thank you. I, I, learned, I learned something, and I'm glad that there's 
more and more places to go where we can see some of your alumni and some of the great work that you've done. And thank you for joining us on Chat, please.